attack me, and hey, he's laying here on my property now. A man charged with beating a man and a woman in a neighborhood dispute tells police his side of the story. Good evening, everybody. A local man is not expected to survive after he and a woman were brutally beaten in what appears to be a neighborhood dispute. His neighbor is now in jail for the fight last night on River Road in Riverside. And as Local 12's Larry Davis found out today, other neighbors were all too familiar with the suspect. Larry? Hi, Cammie. I'm standing in a vacant lot here off a of river road in Riverside. The lot separates the homes of Stephen Snodgrass and that of Michael Barnett. Now, Barnett says that this vacant lot actually belongs to him. And in a 911 call to police last night, he claims that Snodgrass has tried to use this vacant lot as a bit of a parking lot to park his vehicles. Now, whether that was the source of last night's trouble is unknown. But Barnett claims he didn't start this. 48-year-old Michael Barnett called police to give his side of the story. I went over and knocked on my neighbor's door, and he come out swinging the damn uh, ball stick or whatever at me, you know, uh, uh, whatever. Okay. And he attacked me, and hey, he's laying here on my property now. Barnett did not say why he went to his neighbor's house or what transpired after the fight at the front door. He said he ran back to his property to get away from Snodgrass. Barnett explained how Snodgrass ended up on the ground on his property. I punch him in the damn head. Okay. I'm bleeding down my damn arm here. I'm across the street. I think she's dead. In another 911 call, a woman driving by says she witnessed an attack on Patricia Tempke. This is a crime, and I don't like. I did not like seeing what happened. That was. A, a victim of a woman being hit with a shovel on her head. Neighbors say Michael Barnett was well known in Riverside. James Stapleton says Barnett had many other confrontations, yeah, yeah. even with children who played near his house. The occasions that he's been out there, when the kids have been out there, he's actually like threatened them with a knife, and you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's we've actually contacted the police on the matter before. Where he's made the threat, and um, all they've done is just come down and kind of talk to him. Stapleton says Barnett was a neighbor you tried to avoid. You can just see it, like, just, he looks really angry all the time. <laughs> the neighborhood violence has stunned longtime residents like Judy May. I'm really shocked. I don't want to, this to continue our neighborhood. We've lived here 47 years, no trouble at all. And this is coming really close to us, and it scares me. It can be Local 12 News obtained some court documents regarding uh, some of uh, the history regarding Michael Barnett. Uh, they include uh, allegations of uh, cutting tires, also punching a woman in the face, and also pointing a gun at another person. Apparently several years ago in this particular neighborhood, he was accused of uh, actually squirting uh, a guy driving by in his car with a water hose and then walking up and then punching uh, the window out of that vehicle, so out of that man's vehicle. Uh, he does have a reputation in this neighborhood. Live in Riverside, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Can be back to you. Now, Larry, I know you said that the injured man is not in very good shape, but what about the woman? Do you know about her condition? We have not heard uh, any uh, conditions, updates on her, but the 911 caller that you heard there earlier in our piece, uh, she says she appeared to be in bad shape, but we do not or have not been updated on her condition uh, today. And Larry, Larry, do you know, did she live there with that other man who was beaten as well? Uh, that's, uh, that's what we understand, but uh, that has not been confirmed by police uh, as of yet. Okay, Larry Davis, thank you. Michael Barnett faces two counts of assault. He is due in court for arraignment tomorrow.